Yeah, Salakia again, Akia. Uh, I didn't realize my phone was so needing to um <laughs> to be um cleared out to make space, but um I'm determined to finish to finish the lesson. Okay, so I just picked up right where I left off. I just enough to make it a part, you know, one, two, three, four. Um it is what it is. So I I left off at um reading um first Peter chapter two and um verse nine. I was saying, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a whole and holy nation, a peculiar people. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are Israelites. Okay, those terms are just bywords. But you are Israelites. Okay, that ye should show forth the praise of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Okay, so. The ones of you who are the most high open up your eyes to this knowledge and you repent and you turn back, you know? Yeah. Give give show forth the praise to the most high for taking you of darkness and, and, and bringing you into this light. You know, because we know say gross darkness cover a lot of people out here and they don't they don't they they don't they don't have a clue of what's going on around them and what's happening in this world. Okay? They don't they don't have a clue, you know. So we should show forth, as it says, that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay? So to water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for taking me out of darkness. You know, talking to myself first and foremost. For taking me out of darkness and bringing me into your, 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 your marvelous light. Okay? So this is the reason why it says in um, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and chapter um, 17, pray without season. Okay? Pray, pray without ceasing, man. Show forth, show forth the praise of, of, of him that brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So, yeah, every every chance I get, you know, I just, you know, give thanks and praise. Tawada Yahab Bashim All right, so I'm going to leave you all uh, with this scripture right here. I'm going to go into um, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter, is that chapter 43? Ecclesiasticus chapter... Uh, I can find it real quick. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43. Uh, I think it's at the 30th verse. Uh, let me see. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43. Okay, here we go. Right, verse 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For ye can never go far enough. Okay, this is a beautiful scripture, man. Okay, let me re read this again. Ecclesiasticus, out of the book of the Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 and verse 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet will he far exceed. Okay? And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for ye, for ye can never go far enough. Alright? So, it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm going I'm to just, just get one more. Let me get one more. Let me go to the book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 28. Okay, and I'll leave you. I'll leave you with um with this scripture right here, Baruch chapter four and verse twenty eight. All right, and it reads, "For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more." Okay, let's read it again, Baruch chapter four and verse twenty eight. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him. 10 times more, all right? So, brothers and sisters, pray without season and put on put on the armor of the Most High, as it says in the book of um, Ephesians chapter 6, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully this lesson was edifying to the body, you know, as, as the scriptures say, to feed the sheep. So, so the, uh, through, the, through the spirit, I was just, you know, trying to feed the sheep. So, um, other one, Ratazar, that is to say, Lord willing, until the next time, I'm going to say, Shalom.